Hey guys, Ekosk here, and I'm going to be doing something a little different today. I'm going to, I'm coming, uh, going behind the camera to show you guys something. I will show you how I install sound fonts on my Obsidian soundboard. Alright, first of all, I have this set up in a folder where I could easily access. You can see all here are my different sound fonts. Um, I'm working on currently converting this. This is Dark Forces. It's a free font usable by anybody. I'm trying to uh, convert that to LSU and for some reason my files aren't being nice to me. Alright, so first of all, let's, uh, I got my chosen one here. Let's turn this guy on. It'll turn on. And what you want to do is open your Obsidian Launcher. Should have double clicked that and if your window's in the way, get that out of there. And it should pop up here. And as soon as your USB recognizes your um, your saber, you are free to uh, do sounds, and it will automatically shut off. That's not any malfunction of anything. All right. Uh, let's see here. Let's go, Darth Vader. This is how we, how to install sounds on your Obsidian. All right. And this is coming from the perspective of a user, not from the company itself. And I've been doing this for quite a while. So basically, you'll get this this uh, menu here. You'll wonder why is there nothing here? Well, here's why. So you go find your boot sound, which is the one I use, and you will simply drag and drop to the appropriate area, um, and it will. Hang on, I didn't do that correctly. So drag it and then drop it right there and it will show up on the left side here. I mean the right side here. And you can also adjust your volume settings here. And then uh, find your other power on sound. Put that there. Uh, power off would be this. And then your idle sound is usually your hum. Other times it will be called idle. Uh, depends on the person that made the font so you'll do that and all your motion sounds would be your swing sounds or they would be called motion um, so those would all go here alright and your lockup sounds would be for example the lightsaber clap alright so that would just go right into there and each section can hold about 12 individual sounds for motion lockup and impact and impact impact there would be your clash sounds so those would just go right there alright and this stuff unless you know what is doing what that is doing uh, will be your sensitivity settings and all that stuff um, that uh, I still figuring out stuff but it just depends on what you want on your saber um, or how sensitive or n how not sensitive to make it alright so that's just a quick run through of the obsidian alright alright let me uh, put you down for a moment and I will plug into my my uh, other board to show you the emerald driving alright this is the emerald driver menu your saber will stay on but your LED will be off wonder why this is why so for example I have this set to red um, I'm gonna turn that down actually no, I'll keep that there what have that pulse okay so that's so you could just test your colors alright so this must be set yep okay so I have it pulsing from a not so bright red to full on red so when you do test your pulse it will look like this so that means that it that's how quickly it pulses every second alright so it'll do that multiple times while it's actually on alright so here's your flash on clash effect so it'll pulse from me I have it on silver to to red uh, and it will pulse to your it'll pulse from your flash color to your uh, secondary color so this is your pulse color and you can turn these on and off as you see fit and when you disconnect it from the saber 
when you're set done with all your settings it will go back to normal so here's connecting back to your device and this what this means is uh, the settings on your individual setup like for example you have your LED engine RGB amber you have your RGBW RGBG um, I have an RGBW you will you will select any other setting if you have something else you if you have an RGBW that is what you set it to you do not change that um, and write config just means simply what your overdrive settings are okay and um, when you're done when you're done with everything you want to click this write pulses and colors for your emerald driver the same goes for your sounds after you're done selecting all your sounds you will click that. That will download your settings to the uh, to the Obsidian or the Emerald driver. All right. I uh, hope this helps a lot of you guys out, and uh, hopefully this clar clarifies a lot of things. Thank you, and uh, have a good night, and may the force be with you.